how did I go from being a 15-year-old disc jockey in Brookhaven, Mississippi, to programming the NBC station in Chicago where I was 20 years old. I grew up in a very small town in Mississippi, and I needed a job to pay for flying lessons. I tried every place in town. I tried the men's clothing store. They said I was too young. I tried the high-paying job in town, which was bagging groceries at the Piggly Wiggly. No jobs. And I walked into this little radio station, asking a guy named Bill Jones, who owned the station, if I could have a job. And he said, you got good grades? I said, yeah, I have pretty good grades. He said, you get in trouble. I'm not really. He goes, okay, come in this room, put on a tape. He gave me some wire copy. Back in the days, all the wire came off teletype machines. He tore some off, said, read this. And a minute or so, he came back in and said, that's good enough. Uh, you're hired. And that began my career in radio. And back in those days, technology was such that there was no way to bring in signals from outside your market. So in little towns, they hired high school kids to be on the air. And it's stunning the number of people who got their start doing that. Tom Brokaw, one of the great newscasters on NBC, started in Yankton, South Dakota as, a, as an on-air disc jockey. So by the way, I went to a program WNBC in New York, the flagship, when I was 23. I go, how does that happen in an eight-year period? So clearly there were some people along the way who really believed in me and gave me a shot. And, and sadly, they gave me a shot I might not give a kid. I went to MTV because my great mentor at NBC at the time, Herb Schlosser, who is the president of NBC, got kicked upstairs and I thought my trajectory is over. So I went over to this cable company. But at that time, cable was nothing in the U.S. And everybody goes, why would you leave NBC to go this? It's sort of dumb luck. And I sort of went as a lark. 